I picked up Battlezone back in October of 2016, but just never got the feel for it. I play it on occasion, die way too quickly, and never actually finish a game, even on the easiest difficulty. I knew I was missing something, but I just never knew what that was. And as it turns out, what I was missing was a tutorial. Because with just the smallest amount of handholding, I learned that I'd been neglecting one of the best and most robust co-op games available for PlayStation VR. First things first, you can play Battlezone single player and in non-VR, but cruising around the battlefield with three other tanks in virtual reality, devising strategies and systematically wiping the map clean of enemies makes for one of the most fulfilling multiplayer experiences around. That said, communication is essential. The only way to survive is by staying together, because even though you can upgrade numerous aspects of your tank, your ability to heal should be priority number one and you heal yourself and revive each other just by being in close proximity to another member of your team. So stay together and heal often. And that's something the game just never tells you, but once you learn it, Battlezone becomes slightly easier and infinitely more fun. Missions admittedly don't have a ton of variety, but they're always a good time, and successful completion of each one helps bolster your bank account. With every turn you'll be faced with the challenging decision of what to do with your newfound wealth. Upgrade your current weapons or buy new ones, change your special attack, buy extra lives, or reinforce your four shields, and it's all inevitably necessary. The game gets harder as you progress, and each game will take hours to complete regardless of whether you decide to beeline it to the final level or take your time and explore every space on the map. I've met some awesome people online, and spending upwards of two hours together and conquering a map and ultimately the final boss leads to a real feeling of camaraderie that I haven't experienced in many games. Luckily, multiplayer does support a drop-in, drop-out mechanic, so when real life calls, your team won't be left stranded. Battlezone's levels have a beautiful, Tron-inspired look, but it's the feeling of inhabiting a giant futuristic tank that really can't be beat. In fact, I'm having trouble coming up with any real complaints about Battlezone at all. It's difficult, sure, but start on easy and slowly work your way up, unlocking new tanks and weapons for each subsequent playthrough. And if you need a tutorial like I did, I'm including the same guide that was compiled and sent to me by viewer Raphael Mika in the comments below. So if you're looking for a co-op game for your PlayStation VR headset with practically infinite replayability, you can't go wrong with Battlezone. In fact, almost two years after launch, it just became one of my new favorites.